5 Amazon FBA Mistakes to Avoid Amazon FBA is a powerful platform for anyone who is interested in reselling. As long as you know how to pick a product and then market it to the right audience, you can make a lot of money in this way while hardly lifting a finger. But therein lies the caveat. If you know how to pick a product and market it. This is where some people fall down. And so in this presentation, we're going to look at five big mistakes you should avoid. Not testing the product. Part of the appeal of Amazon FBA is that you can start selling products without ever having to get them delivered to your home. If you don't own a warehouse, this is a big plus. The problem is that this can also make it tempting to start bulk ordering products without testing them. You can already see where that might go wrong. So don't give in to impatience. Test the products before you invest. Not reading Amazon's guidelines or the wholesaler's terms. In order to sell a product via Amazon, certain requirements need to be met. For example, it's your job to ensure that the products are packaged and labeled when they arrive at the warehouse. If you don't read this part of the policy, then you might not realize that this is a rule. And therefore, you might send unready items direct to Amazon. This can be an expensive, embarrassing, and messy problem to fix. Choosing fad products Fidget spinners are massive, right? Why not order thousands of them? Because fads don't last, as any reseller who made the mistake that time around will know all too well. Inventory mismanagement Buying too much of something or too little is a pitfall of any reseller business. It's just that it's a mistake that's even easier to make as an Amazon FBA seller, who never actually sees their own stock. Try to get a feel for the market and do some research before investing, and then make sure you have a steady supply at all times. Overpromising The desire to sell can sometimes be so strong that we make promises we can't keep. This, of course, leads to disappointment, bad reviews, and ultimately failure. Better, then, is to over-deliver by giving away something extra, or by delivering in a quicker time than you promised. That's how you make happy customers. 10 Must-Have Amazon FBA Tools Amazon is a powerful platform that makes it easy for sellers to make money via their FBA platform. While this is true, it can never hurt to get a little extra help. Here are 10 tools that can help you sell even more to save money and to ultimately thrive as a business. Camel 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 This tool lets you know about price drops and tells you about product sales ranks. This is useful information you can use to react in real time. WooCommerce A free WordPress plugin that lets you build your own e-commerce store. It also links nicely to Amazon meaning you can promote your products from your own blog or website. Keepa This tool works in a similar manner to Camel Camel Camel. The difference is, is that it lets you view product histories. Google Trends Google Trends is a tool you can use in order to see what people are searching for at any time. That in turn means that you can see what's hot and what's rising in popularity. Useful for picking products. Google Analytics If you do use an e-commerce store or otherwise promote your products through your own site, then Google Analytics can be useful not only to monitor and improve the ranking of your own site, but also to see which sources lead to people clicking on your products and buying. By setting up goals, you can view which search terms, pages, and more ultimately lead to sales. Short.cm Short.cm is a link shortener which is great for creating easily shareable links to your products. Autoresponder There are lots of autoresponders out there, and we don't want to suggest that any one is better than the rest. However, by using any of these, you'll be able to collect emails and then send out promotional messages when new products are launched, during sales, and at any other point when you want to make a push. It's ideal for removing your reliance on sites like Facebook. Unicorn Smasher A tool that gives you lots of powerful features like revenue estimates, data analysis, and more. All extremely useful data for sellers. Sonar Tool 
This free FBA tool is useful for aggregating lots of product data into a single, useful database. It's great for the research stage of your business. FBA Calculate for Amazon Finally, this tool lets you calculate the profit margin for any product after you have considered Amazon's fees and charges. An Introduction to Amazon FBA Amazon FBA is fulfillment by Amazon. The idea is simple. You sell any product that you wish, but instead of handling fulfillment yourself, that means storage and delivery, you instead outsource this part of the process to Amazon. In many ways, this is the perfect business model, freeing sellers up to spend less time worrying about logistics and allowing them to start profiting with very little investment or overhead. In short, this is one of the greatest equalizers in business yet, an amazing platform that allows much smaller businesses to compete with much larger companies. In this presentation, we'll explore precisely how Amazon FBA works and what you need to know in order to get started. The Basics So here's what you need to know. When you sell through Amazon FBA, you will Choose the product you want to sell. Find a supplier to sell it to you, normally a manufacturer, wholesaler. Get the supplier to package the goods and deliver them to Amazon's warehouses, fulfillment centers. Create an Amazon store listing. Let Amazon sell the products and deliver them to your customers. There are a couple of drawbacks to keep in mind. Of course, one is that this method will inevitably involve sharing revenue with not only the manufacturer, but also Amazon. But on the plus side, it means you don't need to order a warehouse in order to store items yourself. And you don't need to handle the complex and frustrating logistics of, well, logistics. In fact, for many small companies starting out, the per unit cost of paying Amazon's small commission is going to be less than the amount of investment necessary to get started. Considering that most businesses like this wouldn't break even for many years, you can find that Amazon FBA saves you money. Why Amazon FBA? Amazon FBA probably sounds incredible to you if you're new to the world of internet business. Others, though, might recognize that there are other options, such as dropshipping. Or how about selling digital products? So why pick this method? The answer is really very simple. Amazon is massive. 5.95 billion people have an Amazon Prime membership. And that's only 59% of the company's total customers. Amazon's share of the e-commerce market reached 49% in 2018, which is absolutely gigantic. And the thing to be absolutely aware of is that people still prefer physical products, even online. So while you could set up your own store and use a method like dropshipping, you'd do much better on Amazon. So why not let Amazon take care of the details for you? How to create a successful WooCommerce store and integrate it with Amazon. Want to start selling Amazon products? Maybe you are an affiliate. Maybe you have a product that you designed or a book you wrote and you want to promote it. Or maybe you're an Amazon FBA seller and you have a thriving business selling items through Amazon. In this post, we're going to take a look at how you can take back a little control over your business by creating a successful WooCommerce store and then integrating it with your products on Amazon. But first, let's talk a little bit about WooCommerce. So, WooCommerce is one of the biggest e-commerce tools in the world and sells a huge range of different products through various different vendors. It works as a WordPress plugin, meaning that most sellers are going to need a WordPress site in order to make the most from it. This is good news. WordPress is a free website building tool that powers over a quarter of the web, and that makes web development extremely simple. To get started with it, you just need to invest in a web host, a company that will store your files online and make them available to browsers, and then you'll normally be able to install it with a single click. WooCommerce is just as simple to set up. You'll just need a PayPal account, ideally, and to install the plugin via your WordPress admin panel. You'll now be able to take orders and handle inventory, and you'll be able to add orders from external websites just the same way. You can use the WooCommerce controls to add a new product, and then choose External Affiliate Product. Now enter the URL of your product and add any details and images you want to promote. This in turn will mean that when someone clicks it, they will be taken to that checkout page, 
You can even use an affiliate link and earn twice from those sales. So why not use a store like this and not just leave it to Amazon's very capable listings? The answer is that by running your own WooCommerce store, you'll be able to offer products right in your own blog. That in turn means you can use content marketing more efficiently. And it means you can persuade people that are engaged with your brand. If you have a successful website, then this is a brilliant way to show your products to all of those visitors. How to find the sweet spot when choosing a product. While Amazon FBA handles a lot of the more technical and fiddly aspects of reselling for you, those being storage and delivery, you are ultimately responsible for the most important decisions, the ones that will ultimately dictate whether your business thrives or sinks. And the most important of these, choosing your product. So how do you go about picking a product that you want to sell? Let's see how to find that sweet spot. Pricing and Profit The first thing to consider is the pricing and profit. How much you can sell this product for realistically while remaining competitive and how much profit you would make from that. Be sure to do your research to see what the competition is doing and make sure that you think about the fees that Amazon will add. You can use the free FBA calculator for Amazon to work this out and there are many common strategies for working out pricing. Keystone pricing, for instance, or the 1 to 5 method. The need. If you're going to sell something on Amazon and have it be successful, then you should identify a need. What are people looking for? What will they need in the long term? This can mean responding to an emotional need, buying luxury items that make people feel comfortable, entertained, or successful. Or it can mean responding to a physical need, such as eating or transport. The mistake is to look for trends that are successful right now, but which might disappear anytime soon. Instead, look for products that have a useful utility and that you can see are selling well already. The niche. Finally, think about the niche industry. Are you selling fitness products, dating products, clothing, technology? This is important because it's going to be up to you to try and promote those products. And this is where your own knowledge and love for the subject can be a huge asset. Don't try and sell things that you have zero interest in. The result will be that you struggle to pick the right items. Or that you don't know how to sell them to other people. Look for something that you would want to buy. Or that you have bought and that you love. Now use this genuine excitement to build buzz and hype for that item and to sell it to others. Oh, and make sure that the product is good. How to Price Your Products, an Introduction to Keystone Pricing With Amazon FBA, it's incredibly simple for anyone to set up an online business selling physical products. While a lot of internet marketing involves digital products, or ads being shown for sites that show other ads, at the end of the day, most consumers still want physical products. This is still where you are going to get the most revenue. And by using Amazon FBA, you'll be able to sell any physical product you choose with no setup or hassle. The downside of that, it means a lot of people can end up investing large amounts into business plans that haven't been properly thought out. It means that they might not, for example, have considered how they are going to price their products. So with that in mind, this presentation is going to provide one solution, keystone pricing. Keystone pricing basically means that products are going to be sold for a price that is roughly double the wholesale price or cost of the product. The basic business model as a reseller is that you are buying up inventory in bulk in order to get it cheaper and then selling that inventory onward for a profit. You get to keep the difference, which is how you calculate profit. It also works very well for Amazon FBA. So let's say that you have invested in 100 jeans. You paid $1,000 for these meaning that they cost you $10 each. Keystone pricing would dictate that you sell them on for $20. This in turn would help you to sell them at a reasonable price while still keeping a healthy profit. Why don't customers just buy for that price direct? Mostly because wholesalers will only sell in bulk. Okay, so is this a perfect strategy? Not quite. For one, this is only one method you can use to calculate price. Another effective option is something called the 1 to 5 rule. This means that you should sell for five times the original COGs, cost of goods sold. If the wholesaler charges a big markup though, then this won't be possible without eating into your profits. Then there is the issue of competition. What are the other companies selling their products for? 
Can you compete with them? What does the price tag you have added indicate about your product? And what about special deals and offers? Have you left room? These are all factors to consider when picking your price. The best place to find physical products to sell on Amazon. Amazon now makes it incredibly easy for anyone to set up their own online business selling physical products. You don't need a warehouse. You don't need an expensive deal with a logistics company. You just need a knack for spotting great products and a marketing head on your shoulders. Okay, so where exactly do these great products come from? Unfortunately, you can't choose any product you like because there's no guarantee that those products will be available for you to resell. This can somewhat put a damper on any big business plans you might have been concocting. But don't worry, there are actually thousands of Amazon products waiting for you to sell at Alibaba. Keep listening, and we'll go over what exactly that means. So what is Alibaba? Alibaba is a global B2B retailer. What does that mean? Essentially, this is an e-commerce store just like Amazon. The difference is that your average Joe cannot head over to Alibaba and start making orders. That's because the company only sells to other businesses. This might mean a karate club looking to order 100 karate gis, but more likely it will mean other stores called resellers. Alibaba is where companies like Amazon go to find their stock, and it's where warehouses and manufacturers list their products for stores to stock up on. Normally, you can only buy a product on Alibaba if you put in a minimum order. Sometimes this is a small amount, maybe 5 units, but in other cases it might be in the hundreds or thousands. The company is massive. It employs over 66,400 full-time staff and actually held the record for the number of funds raised during an IPO in 2014, 25 billion US dollars. The company is one of the top 10 most valuable in the world by numerous measures and was named by Fortune as one of the most admired companies. All you need to know then is that this is the place to source your products to sell on to others. You can buy them here in bulk and then sell them on Amazon through FBA, never having to see the product for real. You'll find items in any niche or industry to sell, but just make sure that the item you're looking at will meet Amazon's requirements. That means that the product needs to come ready packaged and labeled. You can either discuss this with the seller or you can use a third party. Either way, there is a world of selling opportunity to be found here, so dive in. Top 3 Amazon FBA Tips for New Sellers Want to start selling on Amazon through its FBA scheme? Great decision! This is an extremely efficient way to set up an online business and one that can help you learn a huge amount in a short amount of time. Because Amazon handles all of the heavy lifting and hard work, you can start making a big profit in no time, and potentially scale that business to extraordinary heights. But you need to start somewhere, and in this presentation, we'll be going over three tips that can help you to get ahead of the pack right out of the gates. Tip 1. Make a modest first investment. The temptation might be to take out a business loan and to bulk order thousands of products. This is a mistake as it's going to put you on the back foot. It's now a long time before you'll reach break even. And that can lead to desperate business tactics, which always backfire. Better is to start small. Put in an order of 50 items and let this serve as an experiment. If those items do well, you can order more. If they sell badly, then you know to try something different. Play fast and loose and experiment at first. You'll learn on the job. Tip 2. Create a blog and store. One of the big advantages of Amazon is that it lets you sell via a ready-made platform to a gigantic audience of billions. Sound good? Problem is, this means you don't have any control over your exposure or how you present yourself. Creating a blog means you can build your own audience, gain their trust, and find people with a common interest. From there, you can even promote your products through your own e-commerce storefront, using something like WooCommerce. This lets you build your own brand and thereby take control of the way you are presenting yourself. That's massive. Tip 3. Choose products you love. If you truly love the products and the subject matter, then you'll know precisely what it takes to make it amazing, and you'll know how to sell that to other people. You'll be far better at content marketing, and moreover, you'll hopefully create a lot of other happy customers too. Don't just chase after what you think is the next craze. Instead, choose things that are built to last. 
and that bring you genuine happiness. Understanding Your Buyer Persona Amazon FBA is a wonderful service that takes a lot of the guesswork of business away for you, as well as a lot of the busy work. It's no longer up to you to worry about things like storage, delivery, or making sure that your customers actually receive their products. But that doesn't mean that you are completely detached from the important decisions that will make your model sink or swim. In fact, it just gives you more time to focus on the truly important factors. For example, your marketing. Marketing is one of the most crucial aspects of any business. Ultimately, the very best product in the world still won't sell if no one knows about it. With Amazon, you have a ready-made distribution platform, connecting you to billions of people. And now you need to think about how those people will find the items you're peddling. And one aspect of this is to consider and understand your buyer persona. So what is a buyer persona? What am I talking about here? Essentially, the buyer persona is the persona of your ideal customer. This is a portrait, if you will, of the kind of person who is most perfectly suited to the products that you want to sell. Try and write a biography for this person, as though you were defining a character for a book you were about to write. How old are they? What gender? What is their average income? What do they do in their spare time? Are they married? Do they have kids? Where are they located? What is their political leaning? All of these things can help you get a better idea of precisely who this person is, and that will then help immensely when it comes to marketing. For example, if you know the hobbies and interests that your customers are likely to share, then this creates a lot of potential marketing opportunities. You can now identify the websites they are likely to visit and the magazines they are likely to read. What's more is that you can create a strong content marketing campaign. If you run a blog to promote your store, you'll now know what kinds of things to write about and what to avoid saying if you don't want to alienate your buyers. You can even use this information to help choose a price for your products and to know when to make your biggest marketing pushes. So, get to know your buyers. Why Amazon FBA is the ideal choice for your reselling business. Want to become a reseller? This really is one of the very best business models, no matter who you are or what your niche is. As a reseller, you are someone who buys products in bulk and then sells them on at a profit. There are several different ways you can do this, but the most traditional is just to ship those items to your home and then deliver them yourself. This is not optimal. What's far better is Amazon FBA, and in this presentation, we'll explore why. The concept. The basic concept behind Amazon FBA is that you get products shipped to Amazon's warehouses rather than to your home. Amazon will then store those items as needed before sending them on to the customers. That means that you can remove a lot of the stress and the confusion when it comes to selling. Here are just a few of the things you no longer need to worry about if you choose to use Amazon FBA. Finding somewhere to store your products. Paying rent on a warehouse. Sending your products out to customers. Working with drivers and logistics companies. Handling missing items. Late deliveries. Customer complaints. Creating an e-commerce store or platform. If you are a savvy marketer though, you may be considering alternate options, such as drop shipping. Here, resellers send products direct to customers on your behalf, meaning you can drop the middleman. The problem with that is that you still need to handle orders, and now you need to create a storefront as well. Moreover, very few companies will be willing to offer drop shipping, whereas you can work with pretty much any wholesaler when you sell through Amazon. And by selling through Amazon this way, you'll be able to reach one of the biggest audiences in the world. That's amazing enough on its own, but it's made even better when you consider that all these buyers are already signed up for Amazon and that they already trust the platform. So many of us are used to buying products with one click that we hardly even think about it now. That's a huge opportunity for you to capitalize on. And while there are other ways to stock products and sell them through Amazon, this is by far the easiest way. And while there are some fees associated with Amazon FBA, those fees are likely to add up to less than the amount you'd pay for storage and delivery per unit anyway. Unless you're a mega corporation. Maybe someday, eh? For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.